Greetings, citizens of the internet. Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm Jeff Kanata. And I'm Ashley Eskeva. You are watching one of our miniature episodes. Hit you real fast with three and a half minutes to five minutes of quick headlines and a phone talker for the day. And then on Thursday, you can check back in because we're going to deep dive on some of the stories that we've covered this week, as well as have a guest. It's going to be awesome and fun. Yes, an extravaganza, if you will, of future tech and excitement. <laughs> All right, time to hit the headlines. Exploring a surrealist painting is now possible, at least if you're into Salvador Dali. This past weekend, the Dali Museum opened its most recent exhibition, Disney and Dali, Architects of the Imagination. There's a special feature exhibit within the show, a virtual reality tour of one of Dali's paintings. Developers spent four months perfecting the five minute long experience called Dreams of Dali. Visitors use an Oculus Rift to be transported inside a 360 degree render of the painting, bringing Dali's art to life in a high tech way. Even better, now that the exhibit is open, if you have Google Cardboard or Samsung Gear VR, you can experience it yourself right in your very own home. Pretty which, cool. Which I will be doing post haste. Isn't it great how like there's these super expensive high-end VR things, but also like $20 Google Cardboard pr pretty much works with all of them too. Yeah, I it's totally awesome. love it. I mean, you can check it out whenever you want, yeah. wherever you want. It's the best. Okay, well, we're going to go from virtual reality to drones, which seem to be a theme this week. <laughs> uh, specifically, drones that might help search and rescue efforts. Startup company Flyability took its gimbal drone over to the Zermatt Glacier in the Swiss Alps to put it to a serious durability test. They flew the drone through a huge crevasse, shooting video as they flew and running into the glacier's jagged walls as they went. There's a cage surrounding the gimbal drone that translates impacts into rotational energy, so when it slams into a wall, it just keeps on flying. The gimbal's intended use is industrial inspection, but after watching this, I think there's definitely a case for search and rescue. Even better, less experienced pilots can use the gimbal because of its durability, so finding people amidst rubble or in treacherous spots would be possible. I love the idea that this thing can just crash into stuff and it just rotates right through it. I know, it just keeps on going. Can we get one of those for like my car and everything myself. else? Myself. Yeah. I myself. Need a, a suit with a cage. <laughs> Amazing. Great. Hey, if you have any comments about the stories during the week, use our hashtag on Twitter. Hey TD, just shout at us, we'll hear you. Yeah, shout at us, and if we like what we hear, we will use your tweets on our long form Thursday show. So make sure they're good. Yeah, hey, it's time for our Phonetographer of the Day. Today's Phonetographer of the Day is Edmund, who sent in this picture he took with his iPhone 6 Plus. Edmund writes, hello you all, my name is Edmund Burns. This is a picture of the energy efficient Heifer Village building of the company Heifer International here in Little Rock, Arkansas. I love your amazingly informative show. You all have my full permission to use this photo, which was taken with my iPhone 6 Plus. Hooray! Hooray! Hooray indeed, Edmund. Hooray indeed. This is a cool bu building. It says it's super energy efficient, huh? Yeah, I really yeah. like it. I, I saw the picture and I was like, wow, this looks like a nice just sort of architectural beauty uh, that I would like to visit. Yeah, very, Looks very really cool. Good. Uh, if you guys want to send in your photography, please do. We love it. Uh, send it to uh, tomorrowatcnet.com. You see the email address there. Give us permission to use it on the show because we need that. Uh, send your actual picture. Tell us what device you took it on and tell us a little story about it because we love stories. We do love stories. And we'll be back with more stories tomorrow. If you want to get a hold of us on Twitter, all the information is here. Ashley, myself, Logan, our producer. Uh, the show. Hey, tell your friends about it. Come back tomorrow. And until then, see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>